everybody, it's Megan. I'm here to show you our craft of the month. It's rolled paper flowers in a shadow box. This is what the finished product looks like. I'm very excited to show you how to make this one. It's a little more involved than some of our previous projects. And there are two different color schemes I have for you, so whichever one you choose when you get to the library. And uh, let's get started. I'll show you how to construct it. need for this project are all included in your kits so just um, you'll have a couple different um, patterns for your flowers and different sizes and rolls and I'll go into that a little bit how they look when they're done and different colors we're gonna have some leaves for the background um, you've got some decorative elements here some like glitter netting and some beads to put on if you'd like we've got our shadow boxes and then we've got our newsprint flower as well. And then the most important thing is our dowel that we're gonna use to roll our flowers. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so included in your packet are some patterns for flowers that are a little bit different, you will notice. Um, one is a bigger pattern. Um, it's got sort of just like two main curves here. And it's going to produce a flower that's a little bit bigger and looser uh, rolled than some other ones that we have. The smaller roll will have um, more spirals and a smaller cutout there. So just to show you the difference between the two. And I included both just so you would have a variety of flowers to work with. Um, so it looks a little more interesting in your box. So I'm going to show the technique to roll them is a little bit different. I'm going to start with the larger flower and we're going to start with it with the outside edge of the outside spiral going away from you there. So the, the leaf or the petal part going away from you. And then we're going to start rolling. So I have a simple wooden dowel here. Um, that's all you really need to do this. And you're just going to, you're going to place it on the top of your outer ring of your flower and we're just going to start tightly rolling this and it does not have to be perfect um one of the great things about this is that we are recreating natural um natural things in nature that are you know imperfect they're not precise and they have a lot of variation and how they look. Each petal is different, so we can be a little bit looser with we, how we make our flowers, which is nice. Um, so you roll the whole thing up, basically just like that. That's what it looks like. And then when you're done, you can see that it's rolled pretty tightly, but not too tightly. And then you can sort of let it go just like that and it will loosen up quite a bit as you can see it's a little bit looser but it still looks really nice like a flower so then you can there is a circle here on the bottom it's got a large circle and a smaller circle so we're going to use our, our tacky glue and glue on the large circle and a little bit on the smaller circle So I just put a good amount of glue on this circle, uh, the two circles at the end of your flower roll. And then now we can attach this bottom circle to our flower roll here. And as you can see, it's very loose. It's not like a really tight roll. And this part of the flower is going to just attach to the side of your roll. So it looks sort of like that at the end. So the bottom is attached and the side is attached a bit and then it's going to look like that and when you um, have it done you're going to want to like sit there for a minute and let the glue dry for a minute once your glue is dried um, mostly dried is fine we are going to use our dowel again just to um, curl the, uh, the petals out a little bit of your flowers i think it looks really nice this way so basically it's just taking it and rolling a little bit in the other direction and I like to just go around the whole entire thing. It really opens up the rows and makes it look really pretty. Go around in a 
circle. And that's how it looks when it's all done. It's really open and pretty and a little bit bigger. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the tighter rolled flower that also looks really pretty when it's done. So it's the one that's the smaller, but more of the spirals. And again, we're gonna go from the outside and working inwards uh, towards us and just going to keep rolling pretty tight, as tight as you can. And then when we're done rolling, it's uh, there is that same circle at the bottom. This one doesn't have two circles, it just has one uh, larger one. But it's the same idea, you just kind of let it go loose a bit. And once it looks like that, a little bit looser, you can, again, put some tacky glue down on your circle here. Okay, and once we have that one done, uh, you can just glue it down. And it doesn't have to be like really glued on um, every layer. It's gonna stay together even if, if it's rolled pretty tightly. So, um, you know, as you can see, it's a little bit floppy, not totally glued down, but it's gonna stay just the, how you need it. And this is what this flower looks like. It's very cute and pretty. And then we've got some other, once you do all your flower rolling, we also have some newsprint or book page uh, flowers for you. You can do all that rolling. Um, I've included some leaves of different colors for you. And these look really nice on the background of your shadow box. Um, and I've also included some decorative elements some netting which I um, in my shadow box I glued down to some of the leaves in the background to make it look really nice um, behind your flowers and then once you have everything um, the way you want it you can go ahead and start uh, gluing down your flowers however you would like them on your um, on your back of your frame and once you do that, you can just open up your shadow box and put your um, back of your frame in and it's ready to hang. This is what it looks like. Or however you decided to do it personally because everybody is different. So however you did it, uh, doesn't that look nice? And that's it. Um, now you have your lovely paper flower shadow box you can hang on your wall or put on a shelf. Thanks for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed our paper rolling craft and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.